guys, what's going on? My name is Seth G and you're watching Work It Out TV. Uh, we're at Mansion Fitness in West Hollywood, California. And today we're going to go over some exercises with my client over here, Joseph. What's going on, Joe? What's up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. You're looking good. Thank you. Good. So Joe uh, is one of my clients. We've been working with each other for a couple months. Yeah. And um, he has put on a lot of size and gotten a lot of definition. He's looking really good, lifting cut. Thanks to you. Yeah. So um, Joe is a lot skinnier, and he's put a lot of muscle on. Um, he's been doing a lot of weight training in the gym and using specific exercise I've been teaching him. Now, one of the muscle groups he really wanted to target was his pecs. Um, he actually, you were asking a lot of questions about how to get some yeah. really good definition. Definition on the sides and on the inside. Yeah, right on the sides, underneath, yeah. on the inside. Show us what you got. Now, Joseph has great definition underneath here. Um, Packs are really popping, <laughs> and that's because uh, we're doing a couple target exercises to really help work this, get definition, and also burn fat all on the sides. A lot of guys have this problem, and a lot of guys want that definition. Um, so I figured today we'll go over a couple exercises that I showed you. Okay, awesome. sound good? Yeah, definitely. Right, let's do this. All right, so here Joseph is going to be doing a decline press with a twist. Literally, he's going to press all the way up and bring his palms towards his face. This is going to give full range of motion and hit every fiber of the pecs. So right underneath here, he's pushing up on that decline, getting some nice definition underneath. And when he's spinning it up, it's hitting the sternal or center fibers of uh, the pectorals, as well as hitting the upper fibers as well, or the clavicular. He's going to bring it down in a nice slow and steady motion. Exhale, press all the way up. You can see Joseph's feet are flat on the ground. His sacrum is touching the bench. Uh, knees are met at a nice 90 degree angle. And he's exhaling and inhaling at a nice steady pace. Nice and slow. You can see it's really working right here. The next exercise we're going to go over today is a little bit more advanced. This is something that you would want to do at the gym. It's a decline fly on a Bosu ball. So Bosu balls are these big blue half balls, some people call them half moon balls, but they're actually Bosu balls, that's the brand that makes them. And you can find them in most gyms across America. So Joseph has his back on the ball, his head and neck are well supported, um, but his lower back is off the ground. So only do this exercise if you have a good strong lower back. So he's going to bring his weights up, fly them all the way out to the side, nice straight arms, just a slight bend in the elbow. This is going to hit the sides of the pecs, and at the top, it's going to hit the sternal fibers again. He's going nice and slow, again, really even breathing, exhaling, pushing up, and his hips are nice and strong off the ground. Now, he just brought his feet together. If you want to use a little bit more core stability, get your feet as close as you can. For a little bit less, if you're a little bit more unstable, you're going to bring your feet a little bit wider. And at the same time, I guarantee you, get his abs completely engaged. Feel it, Joe? Yeah. Nice. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, so after you finish stretching, get a little bit of water, maybe shower off, go check out workitoutfitness.net and find me on the web. Also, feel free to subscribe and tell me how much you love this workout. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.